welcome back to today's video. So for today, it's all about my Jimmy Choo collection and also unboxing a new pair. Uh, but before that, I just want to show you guys my latest favorite candle, the Osmanthus from Dior. It smells really, really good in my opinion. And this is what they um, use at the Dior boutiques, at least the ones in KL since I've been. And this is... Um, This smells of apricot. As osmanthus is a flower and um, you know you can use it in tea as well and osmanthus tea is one of my favorite um, Chinese teas. So just wanted to like that for today's video. So um, I have three pairs of Jimmy Choo's now together with the new ones that I have unboxed. So let's get straight to the unboxing but before that, if you're interested in this kind of stuff do subscribe to my channel and do give this video a thumbs up plus leave your comments. So guys, as I mentioned earlier, if you order from my Theresa, you do need to pay 10% duties charge. So this is the um these sorry, this is the documentation. So this is the my Theresa holder with the receipts, etc. Return labels, but as I mentioned, you know, um I usually don't return stuff from my Theresa just because I would already have paid the customs duties that's paid to the government, the Malaysian customs. So you won't get that back even if you do return so this is how they pack it very tightly there's no like wastage of space it appears to have yet another yellow box it is ta-da i got this pair because of the discount that came up randomly and also because i've wanted this pair of bings for a long time so let's take a look Jimmy Choo box. It's rather large when uh, these are f four inches, so it's rather the box is much larger. So you can see. So if you want to return it, make sure you do try them on, on carpeted surfaces and don't remove the stickers. This is the Jimmy Choo dust bag, simple one. And, Oh my gosh, guys, I always have this pair of things for the longest time. Gosh, it's so super bling, guys. Black pattern. Pointy toe, my favorite, and I went up half a size because these are so pointy. So these are mules. Let's pick up the other side. Wow, it's really super pretty. I would have to say Ta -da! So I will try them on for you later Just wanted to quickly unbox them because I want to wear it when I go with my girlfriend tomorrow night These are not gonna be like super comfortable for sure because um, it's a meal so usually a meal would have Oh sorry guys I'm gonna close the room and it has um, This pair has a very slim, I guess sexier heel compared to the chunky heels. Very well made and they were 30% off. So I'm going to try them on and then try on the other two pairs I have from Jimmy Choo as well. And I think Jimmy Choo does the perfect um, evening shoes in my opinion. So beautiful, so bling. Okay guys, so the crazy things I do for my channel, right, for you guys. So I literally put my phone on the floor to shoot this part at a restaurant where I was out of my very understanding girlfriend. So this pair of heels, they are so comfortable. I cannot believe it. This is the end of a work day and dinner is like 10 p.m. And my feet do not hurt at all whatsoever. Okay, as I've seen, I've, uh, since I've done the unboxing and also tried on this pair, the Bing uh, 100s, which is basically 4 inches with this lovely, lovely crystal detailing at, um, um, I don't know what you call this part actually. 
Uh, but basically, this part it does provide support, and surprisingly, as I mentioned, for such a high pair of heels, it was very comfortable. I could definitely run around in the office the whole day, which I did yesterday, and um, love the pattern with the detailing. And as I mentioned, I got this for thirty percent off from my Theresa, so it was a really really good deal. Love it. And um, the other pair that I have, maybe I'll start with my very first pair is the Romies. This are uh, these are. So these Rumi being the lowest are the are quite comfortable as you would expect. Um, but I really think that it doesn't really have much to do with height. It's the way the shoes are made in my opinion. Also maybe because I am used to wearing high heels. In terms of wear and tear, you can see that they still look perfect. But I do admit that I haven't worn these that much. Um, and the fabric actually is a bit harder than regular leather to break in to be honest so I did go um, I should have went a half size up on hindsight um, now that I'm thinking about it and I'm doing a voiceover because the audio was I mean didn't come out right uh, when I played back and I, I didn't want to reshoot um, this video so um yep that pair is definitely a classic pair i love and this is a bit more dramatic um the b100s that i literally had in my shopping cart for the longest time and then i just pulled the trigger when i watched um uh, little women the k-drama on netflix because they kept showing this pair of shoes and i just conveniently took it as a sign that i should buy this pair so um it is a pair of sweet a sweet pair and as you can see the heel part uh, is thin uh, and the ankle actually um, area is actually quite well supported so even though it's four inches again i would have to say it's very comfortable uh, i can't talk say much about wear and tear because i've literally worn this pair once and i will try to wear this pair more to kind of bring the cost per wear down but because the crystals do go diagonally on the top of your feet they are a little bit more dramatic and they're just you know really it's just so fun to have dramatic shoes i feel um for certain occasions i definitely won't be wearing these to like a meeting a work meeting or a uh, presentation because i think um that will be a bit much definitely i love this pair and i think bought this pair at full price on my theresa so now i'm trying on the first pair that i got the romies which are two and a half inches so um, they are very quite comfortable because of the low heel and obviously very shiny a classic pair of glittery fabric heels from Jimmy Choo um, great for evenings I feel and love the fact that the heel is made of metal so you don't really run the risk of getting it scraped especially if it's a uh, leather heels uh, I've worn these quite a few times and I think they are great but on hindsight i probably should have gone for a 39 and a half because the first two times i wore them they were pretty tight as i mentioned so um just a pair of pointy toe heels that are well made and quite comfortable after you break them in um and definitely adds a touch of bling to your outfit uh, whatever you're wearing love that it's silver tone so i usually wear these with my um pale gold or silver mini cocoa handle that i have so now i'll wear the other pair these are the b100s so these are also four inches they are black suede and so it's a bit more comfortable as in the suede is softer than pattern leather and they have the um the crystals kind of running across diagonally across um, on the top of your feet so i think these are a bit more dramatic and definitely very sophisticated i've only worn these once and i definitely should wear them more to lower my cost per wear so i think they go very well with um, i mean in the evening and i think they will go very well with jeans as well so it depends on how you like you like to pair them with depending on what you're wearing but all in all definitely very comfortable and the um heel part is also very comfortable even though the heel looks very thin i think it's just a pair of very well-made shoes just like any other jimmy shoes that i mean based on my experience um there is a big difference with the expensive shoes that are well made um you know compared to the rest and i would say that these pair of shoes this pair of four inch ones are definitely more comfortable than a pair of um cheap flats um 
so to speak. And finally, just trying on my Bing 100s again. You can tell how much I love them. They are very comfortable and they are more casual than the other pair, which would look a bit more dramatic. So I think these are better for the daytime. You can match them with almost, I think, like formal, informal. Um, not too formal also in my opinion. I don't think it works well with a work dress. If you don't already know Jimmy Choo original, I mean he is Malaysian. He sold off all his stakes in the a brand already. Basically he sold off his brand but I'm, I'm like actually really loving a lot of the designs. I have another two pairs on my wish list. I'm not sure. So I'll put a picture the one with the pearls either in the nude pattern or the white because I don't have a pair of white Jimmy Choo's yet. So out of so I have the three pairs I'm showing you guys here today. All are lovely. Not to forget the latest pair that I have. Four inches but oh so comfortable. I'm not kidding you guys. Don't be intimidated by the four inches. It just, I don't know. I think that it totally elongates your leg and it's just really sophisticated and sexy. So love uh, love this pair guys so i love uh, my jimmy choo collection i'm planning to add to it for sure especially um during christmas where i'm pretty sure there will be some discounts and um some special promotions so we'll see which pair i get next so i hope you found this useful guys and i also highly recommend sorry my shih tzu is barking because she wants to come in so um and highly recommend the osmanthus candle from Christian Dior, love it, love it, love it. This is uh, my essay told me they always love to light the osmanthus at the boutiques. So I'll see what other scents they have and I'll check them out tomorrow and I'll report back uh, whatever I, I get. So I hope you found today's video useful. Do let me know if you have questions on Jimmy Choo or any other um, designer brands. Um, recently I've been on a roll with shoes. I just did a Roger Vivier one. So do check that out. I'll link it uh, down below and yeah, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day and um, do leave me a comment, ask me any questions and like and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.